here we're going to look at telomeres, which are shown here as the end caps of chromosomes. They're a nice bright pink contrast in color here. They're kind of the glowing image here in the black and white, and they're circled and zoomed in on the cartoon image of just above me. Now, why are these important? Why are we looking at them and what are they? Well, it's important because these end caps get shorter with each cell division. So here we see a cell going through a series of divisions. You see the telomeres slowly being degraded. You can kind of think of this as being like the eraser on a pencil. The more times you kind of go through and use it, the shorter that they get. An average cell will divide between 50 and 70 times before the cell ends up dying. As each cell divides, the telomeres at the end get shorter and shorter. Um, these kind of a theory or a limit on how short the telomeres can get through each cell division and eventually when they're too short no longer present on the chromosome and that cell has gone through enough d division steps and that cell will naturally um, basically die and um, be replaced hopefully by other cells. Now we kind of have here that showing that cartoon image of when you were kind of young, you have those nice large end caps to get older, we see that kind of getting shorter, and sadly as we age you're getting even shorter. Um, to the point here where you can only divide so many times before that telomere is basically gone, that chromosome is unprotected, and that cell will go through a natural death process. Now, the telomerase is a ribonuclear protein. It's an enzyme. What does that mean? Well, we're looking at protecting the ends of the chromosomes, or end caps, uh, and it goes through the process that we call reverse transcriptase. This forms DNA from an RNA template. That's why it's reverse transcriptase. We're forming DNA from that RNA template. We're going kind of backwards. It acts without that DNA uh, template. It has its own RNA template that's stored inside that's then used to kind of reverse reverse transcribe a uh, DNA from that. Now the end result ends up being that this DNA is extended each time it's copied. However, other mechanisms uh, restore the length in germ cells. Uh, so somatic cells, those are your natural body cells, germ cells, remember, are your sex cells. Somatic cells do not have enough telomerase to keep this process going, so they'll lose that terminal length, and this is thought to result in that cell's natural death process. However, many cancer cells have actually found ways or have mechanisms to increase the length of this telomerase or, uh, activity. This is causing them to become immortal because if we slowly reduce the telomerase, um, uh, the telomeres of the chromosome and that cell ends up dying, well cancer cells simply just increase the length, kind of put like a permanent cap over it um, to keep its length consistent and therefore resulting can become immortal because they won't go through this natural death process.